Hoffaday and welcome to another edition of the Guam Crime Stoppers Report. Before we get to our report, first over the past several days, the Guam Police Department, along with their brothers and sisters from the FSM law enforcement community, have been attending the Pacific Prevention of Domestic Violence Program, hosted by officers from New Zealand. With me now are Guam Crime Stoppers Coordinator Officer Paul Tapao and the Program Manager for the Pacific Prevention of Domestic Violence Program, Cam Ronald with the New Zealand Police Department. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to Guam. Thank you. First, if you could just tell us um, about the program. The program is delivered by New Zealand Police, mm -hmm. which is a national police force. We have a contract with the New Zealand Foreign Affairs Department to deliver assistance to 20 police forces around the Pacific, all the way down from Cook Islands, right through up to Palau and out as far as the Marshall Islands. And we work with the police in the Pacific uh, to assist them to manage domestic violence reports and especially to do that with other groups in the community. Now, how did this partnership, I guess, come about then? We began back in 2005 and in 2007 all of the Chiefs of Police, including the Chief of Police from the Guam PD, signed a declaration where they would all work together. And we've done some work up here in Guam before, back in 2009, and we've had some Guam officers come down to New Zealand. But uh, this year we've had quite a, a step forward the Australian Federal Police um, have joined our program and the intention is for them to fund and resource the work that we're doing up here through Micronesia. So this is a, a big step forward mm -hmm. and we'll go for the next four years. You know, Paul, we often talk about the problems of domestic violence yes. uh, here in Guam. How big of a problem is it uh, regionally in, in the places that you visit? In the Pacific, unfortunately, um, on World Health Organization standards, we have two countries uh, which comes second and third as the highest reporting levels in the world. Um, and that's Kiribati and the Solomon Islands. We know in other countries around the Pacific that the levels are much higher. Pe countries are in the top 10, top 20. We don't know the exact figures here in Guam, but we would, we would imagine because of the other countries that have done this survey um, that the levels of violence are, are probably above average mm -hmm. here in Guam. But it's a, it's a concern for us even in New Zealand we have far too much domestic violence. We have a crime every seven minutes in New Zealand, a domestic violence case is reported. But we've learnt, we've learnt some ideas, we've learnt some, uh, some things that we wouldn't do again, and we'd like to share that knowledge and that practice here in the Pacific. Well, you, you know, you've been attending the, the yes. training, so you've actually heard the numbers in some mm -hmm. of the places that uh, uh, Cam has mentioned. So why don't you compare the statistics here on Guam? Well, it varies because um, Within our numbers, um, for the statistics that we brought out, it showed that the uh, Chamorro culture has actually dominated the, uh, within the statistics as the, uh, the uh, perpetrators for domestic violence. The case is actually reported to the Guam Police Department to include the arrests. Second behind that are the FSM community from Chuuk. So, you know, it is the, I mean, the numbers would show that because the host nation or the host country, which is Guam and the Chamorro people, we are actively the uh, predominant uh, violators for domestic violence. So with the efforts of um, the PPDV program, it's actually, we're taking four steps into improving that. And hopefully, you know, we can curb that where now we can have a safer Pacific Island for everybody to share. Okay, and, so, and so what are you uh, teaching uh, the participants? Well, just picking up on the comment from Paul that one of the, the benefits we have is that we have the Guam PD here, but we have officers here from Palau, from Chuk, from Pompeii, and from Majuro. So the chance for them to be together for two weeks and to learn about the different cultures mm -hmm. and to exchange information and know who to call and that type of thing is, is a valuable part of our training. Mm -hmm. But in the last three days, uh, we've been taking the officers uh, through a level of training that will allow them to train their own staff. So we've been training, training officers here in the last few days and we've been teaching about the, the factors around domestic violence and, and why domestic violence might be so high and then we've also been teaching the skills on how to investigate and how to listen to what people are saying and when they, when they need assistance and also the best way that the police can respond, particularly with others, uh, with the women's groups, with the churches, with yeah. the community, uh, to do it together. You mentioned uh, why. Why are um, d domestic violence rates so high? And these are just the ones that are, are reported. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, a lot of the social issues and everything and you know after hearing some stories that Cam and um, you know the staff had brought in 
and within our brothers and sisters of Micronesia, we can also relate Guam to that 20 years ago. It's just a matter of um, the social issues that they face and how we handle it and how we approach it as a family. Some is fueled by rage through alcohol. Now we're seeing fueled by drugs, dependency on uh, illicit mm -hmm. drugs such as crystal, methamph crystal methamphetamine. So it is getting violent as, you know, as the years progress. The, the other factor that's important is people now are beginning to talk about it. We have one of our themes is break the silence and the violence. And in, in some countries, we don't see that the violence is actually increasing, but we see that people are coming forward. And one of the things that we hope will come out of the work that we're doing with the police forces up in Micronesia is that more people will come forward and trust the police to report their cases and to do a good job mm -hmm. in dealing with them. So it's possible that police reports will actually go up initially, right. and that's a good sign, because mm -hmm. it shows that people are, are bringing it forward and that the cases are going to the courts where they need to go there. Okay, well thank you so much uh, for coming in. I know the training continues uh, next week. Any final comments? I, I just think it's great that we're here working with the Australian Federal Police as our partners and that we know that we can tell people with confidence that we're going to be here over the next three and four years working with our police colleagues up here. That's great news. Paul? Uh, well, you know, the program, it, it benefits everybody. Mm -hmm. um, our officers with the Guam Police Department and also the, our brothers and sisters from the Micronesian Islands and everything, to include the citizens that are here in Guam. Our officers are gonna learn the important um, lessons in dealing with different cultures now. And that's the thing that we wanna share with, within, this, within this training program, is the different cultures that are being brought forward and how to handle it, how to respect the culture and help educate the officers, likewise the citizens that are, being, you know, that are, that are living here in Guam. So it, it is a great program. And I'm really glad to be a part of it. Okay, and speaking of great programs, our Guam Crime Stoppers program is yes. a great program. Uh, let's get to this week's report. Well, this week's crime report is a armed robbery that occurred at the uh, Ara Market in Worcester Road, Dededo. On June 27th of this year, at about 8.29 a.m., Officers from the Dedero Precinct Command responded to the Ara Market on Wistick Road, Dedero. According to the police report, the store's cash attendant was working behind the cash register counter when a male individual described only as Chamor descent with a fair complexion with a short, stocky build. He was last seen wearing a black hoodie jacket. The male individual was armed with a revolver-type handgun, had entered the store, approached the counter, and demanded cigarettes. The store attendant immediately complied, in which he handed the armed suspect a pack of cigarettes, in which a struggle then ensued between the store attendant and the armed suspect. The armed suspect then struck the store attendant three times on the head with the butt of the handgun, causing the store attendant to collapse. The store attendant was able to regain his composure, in which the store attendant noted the armed suspect had fled on foot towards Route 1 Marine Corps Drive, Dededo. If you have any information about this case, please call the Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP or text 688-STOP. You can also visit our webpage at www.guam.crimestoppersweb.com or call the Guam Police Department at 475-8615-6 or 7. Guam Crime Stoppers wants to remind the public that we do not use caller ID and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 if the information provided leads to the arrest and conviction for the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime. Paul Kim, thanks so much for coming in. Again, if you have any information about that robbery along Worcester Grove, please call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. That's 477-4357 or text 688-STOP. Thanks for watching and stay safe.